there you are. He's <laughs> just looking out in this town, you know. You'll get a vitamin D deficiency. Well, they do call me Saram and the White for a reason. You know? <laughs> I suppose, and they call me Lisa the Pinstripe because of... Because of your suit, yes, I know. You've made that joke every day since you joined the White Council, the coalition of the wisest and fairest lawmasters in Middle Earth. Yes, but one with a fundamental Im image problem, which I've been sent to sort out. How can you be a coalition if there is only one of you? Because Gandalf and Radagast are both off fighting the Dark Lord, Sauron, and you're I'd not. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, of course you wouldn't. <laughs> now, I take it you read my action plan for going forward? Uh, it, it might have fallen in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, follow for me. You're impossible. Well, no matter. The crux of the issue that prevents the White Council from uniting Middle-earth the way that the Valar intended is, in fact, the fact that it is called the White Council, run by Saruman, the White, a problem which has got no better since Gandalf the Grey discovered detergent. <laughs> However, at least you've avoided the obvious thing and not made Radagast the Brown a token racial minority. Well, it's always high all the time. Does that count? No, Saruman, that is not a good thing. Well, if you think you can get control of Radagast the Brown, you'd better think again. He's been cautioned by the RSPCA so many times. Cruelty <laughs> to rabbits. And the last time we spoke, he threw a hedgehog at me. He gave me a black eye. Well then, you'll be pleased to know that I've given Radagast his P45 and packed him off to England to be one of the new Doctor Whos. I've had us a new Radagast, one who is just as protective of the environment as the last one, but he's been absolutely clean since he came out of prison and has nothing against small animals. Did you bastards know that I had bird shite all down my face? <laughs> well, yes. Why the fuck didn't you tell me? The old one always liked it. Well, I don't. I don't like Nelson's feckin' column. <laughs> <laughs> really, Lisa, this is intolerable. You can't just go firing wizards at the drop of a pointed hat. And I should point out that we're supposed to be paragons of goodness. Well, exactly. And how better to send out this message than by hiring a redeemed convict? And I did put this idea up for a vote back when you were back in that room with a plant here with a load of empty tissue boxes. <laughs> Radagast didn't like it, but Gandalf was in favour and he gets two votes. Oh, so he still isn't brown then? No, of course not. If we're going to have racial diversity on this council, it will not be in the form of Radagast the brown, but we will have diversity. Uh, are you sure that's wise? Yes, of course I'm sure. Look, the only reason that we have it's not the Haradon's fault that they worship Sauron as a god, right? They just happen to have a darker skin tone. Tolkien just needed some extra mooks for Sauron and just thought, oh, okay, let's just plonk some Arabs on giant elephants and say, here's one I made earlier. Not quite. But, according to the appendices... The what? You know the bit about world building at the back of Return of the King that uh, no one ever reads? Now, according to this, there are two blue wizards, correct? Yes, Alatar and Philando. That They went into the East years ago. Well, it's pretty clear by now that they're not coming back. So I've been through the CVs and I've found us two new bl blue wizards. Now, I'd like to introduce them. Please welcome Babilis the Blue and Brian. <laughs> also the blue. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late though. I was just doing my hair with Arwen in a pavilion in Rivendell. Does Arwen ever come out from under that pavilion? Not in the books, no. I think she's got narrative rickets. <laughs> anyway. Thank goodness the elf lord Glorfindel was there to save Aragorn and his cute little hobbit friends from the the black, the Dementors? The black, the, the rider people? <laughs> Brian, meanwhile, represents people with no magic on the council. No magic? How dare you? How do you know I'm a professional magician? I do card tricks, <laughs> rope tricks. And the other day at uh, Boromir's stag do, I pulled a rabbi out of a hat. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said because Judaism does not exist in Middle Earth. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be the second woman on the White Council. What's a woman? <laughs> oh, 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 you mean you're like that A.O. Wynn person? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Eowyn only got the screen time that she did because Tolkien wrote himself into a corner when writing the prophecy about the Witch King of Angmar. The ring rape that no man can kill. Exactly. Really? Lisa, I must protest. I know your reforms are well-intentioned, but as head wizard, I must put my foot down and forbid them from going ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Compromise. We don't hire Babylis and Brian. We get the old Radagast back, but we do need someone to replace Gandalf the Grey now that he's gone white. Oh. I have someone in mind already. 
Allow me to introduce Fifty Shades of the Grey. <laughs> Hello, Sarah Man. Let's get out your seeing stones if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'd like to see the eye I'm <laughs> All right, we'll keep Babylon and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> 